Okay, one of the question came was how to see multiplicity or if the signal goes to a singlet, a doublet, a triplet, etc. And this came from a slide number five. The homework number was 15.5 and it's the same as Professor Klein's 15.38. The structure was basically eight member ring, eight carbons. There were a methyl group at position two, two methyl groups at position seven. Again, later on, we're going to practice how to name these compounds and naming and chemical structure is a big chunk of this class. So now let's look at this structure. So we have 11 carbon, 21 hydrogen, and one oxygen. We know that the structure has a carbon double bond O. So again, when we have a carbon double bond O and a carbon double bond O doesn't have any hydrogen, so it sort of split the, we can split the compound to the, in two and then identify uh, similar protons and hydrogen. I mean, that's really the key. So if I did that and I look at the structure, so all these, uh, basically six hydrogen, one, two, three, four, five, six are the same. Then here we have a carbon with one hydrogen. So that's by itself. Again, as I mentioned, till we get comfortable going from a loose structure to a structure that shows hydrogen, not the carbon, the hydrogen, or it's important to, to learn that. Then we have these two hydrogen uh, sitting here in green, two hydrogen here in orange, two hydrogen here in, I guess, orange in color, and nine hydrogen here in bluish color. And of course, there is no hydrogen here. So I divided in half. I did this half first and then this half second. So if I go here and show myself, so you have this hydrogen. I try to use a different color. So the red one basically represents this six hydrogen. These six hydrogen, again, are immediately next to one hydrogen. And now remember n plus one. We don't look at the six hydrogen. We look at the neighbor. The neighbor is only one hydrogen. So this six hydrogen split in two, and we should call it doublet. So this six hydrogen are split in two. We call it a doublet. Now this hydrogen here is a little bit many, many uh, protons and hydrogen next to them. We have this six. And we have the two is eight plus one is nine. We haven't learned the name yet, but it's non it. So that means this little proton here is going to split into nine peaks. And nine peaks. Then we go to the green hydrogen. So the green hydrogen again is next to one hydrogen and plus one. So it would be a doublet. So the six was a doublet, one blue one was nine signal, and the two green one was a doublet. Let's go look at the other half of the molecule. So we have, again, on the left side, we have two hydrogen. I should have a reddish color. So that two, again, split by these two purple one, and that makes it into a triplet. So we have a triplet for these two hydrogen or these two protons. So if I go to this purple one, there is no protons or hydrogen on the left side, but there is two on the right side. So these become a triplet. So this two hydrogen become a triplet. Very similar to this. They are different, they are different, right? And we, at this point, we're not doing anything with PPM, so that would be the next exercise to assign PPM to them. 
Then we go with this uh, Hirschbuter group that has nine hydrogen or nine protons. And there is no hydrogen here on this carbon. So all these nine protons are form a singlet. So we say a singlet. To summarize all this uh, splitting pattern, so we started with one, <coughs> six protons here, so they are doublet. This one proton's hydrogen is signal nine signal, no net. These two are a doublet. Again, there is no hydrogen here. And this would be a two hydrogen, a triplet, two hydrogen triplet, and nine hydrogen or proton singlet. We need just to practice and practice. Thank you.